Hello YouTube. Uh, today I bring another device. This is the USB FPV uh, kit, and this is uh, designed for the Android phones, and this also works for the iPhone, but 100% uh, perfectly working with the Android phones. And this is the mini FPV kit and uh, I ordered this thing from gearbest.com and uh, the name of this thing is the gold model 5.8 gigahertz and this will give you 150 channel and this is a FPV receiver engine and this is based on the USB device so if you have a mobile phone that runs on Android and if you have this kind of VR box you know and uh, this is uh, very cheap available in 10 to 15 dollars uh, so if you have these two things you can uh, make your own fpv goggles instead of spending um, 80 to 90 dollars you can make your own uh, you know this fpv goggles in the and i paid around 23 dollars for this and this is very cheap uh, so let me open and i will show you this kit and I will connect with my phone and I will show you how this thing is working so here it comes with this antenna and uh, this is the USB cable and uh, yes this is the final thing 5.8 G UVC receiver so this is small thing can uh, give you a very nice signal and you can uh, you can connect your uh, racing drone with this thing and uh, you can enjoy the FPV flight so let me put this antenna okay and then what you need you need a phone and go to your phone this is my phone and I have and this is an Android uh, system, you know, this is the Android phone and uh, let me show you the go to app store and then download this, uh, you know, download this uh, app. The name of the app is Go, Go FPV. Yes, this is the app and here it comes. Just download this app and click on install, continue. Uh, skip accept now this app see this app is uh, not a fake app it's a very good app is working perfectly uh, perfectly on my phone and uh, yes still stalling okay now let me open yeah see so the app is open let me connect with the usb this is the usb uh, port this is the usb wire one side i will connect in this small thing you know it's cheap <laughs> fpv uh, usb fpv receiver so instead of spending hundred of dollars just buy this this is good for the starters if you are new to this hobby this uh, quadcopter racing drone so instead of spending big amount just start with this and after some time okay it's connected and let me connect this side on the phone and uh, yes the phone is connected looking like this device does not have blah 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 okay now it's connected and uh, okay so now let me turn on my drone my quadcopter and I will see the result of the camera okay the drone is on 
we refresh hi folks so now I'm back with this USB FPV 5.8 gigahertz UVC receiver and uh, this is a device and I will show you how to configure this on your mobile phone so for this you need the Android phone and uh, there is no issues with any operating system but the latest operating system just like if you have S8 or something so I'm not sure either that app will support so first of all go to um, this app go FPV you can see this one this is the driver you can have a look this one this is the app go FPV dot APK so if you go to FPV dot APK this you can install first this okay and after that <coughs> you need to install this go FPV you know just have a look yes this is the one go FPV just have a look yes this one <clears throat> so by this go to fpv.apk and then there is a, like you know Chinese site and that site is very difficult very like you know it's very risky to trust but for this you have to install that app okay and after that you can because in this app you will find the driver you will find the driver for this device then once you have the driver then you can use this go fpv okay so i'm telling you again go fpv if you have only go fpv app this will not work you have to install this fpv.apk go to that uh, domain and then install the driver then this thing will come and then go FPV okay so this two combination is required and on YouTube there are lots of people they are saying change this cable and change this and later there's no issues with the cable cable is fine everything is fine and now I will show you how this thing will connect this is my uh, racing drone um, and this is in this one we have this camera and this FPV is on so let me connect this I will show you just connect this okay and then now here you can see this is connected and uh, this is my FPV you can have a look the result of this camera just have a look see this is showing all the is beeping because and then you can place this phone in this VR box device and you can make your uh, like you know cheap FPV goggle if you have this I will show you how to connect this okay and uh, I will come back so here I have this uh, VR box you can have a look this is a normal VR box it's available in ten dollars okay so the thing is um, this is the device uh, you simply place your phone okay let me connect this thing yes this one just need to connect your phone like this see so this is connected and then you just need to place this here box 
Nice. And then you can simply paste this device. Because this is a very light uh, device. So this is not very heavy. So what we just need, we just need uh, I'll show you here. So what we just need here, we need some uh, like double tape thing. Okay. And then Yes, then you can paste it here. So, okay. so now this is your FPV glasses are ready in. For this, I paid twenty-three dollar, and this is ten dollar. So it's very cheap, you know. So, and this less price, and only thirty to thirty-five dollar, you can make your own. FPV goggles okay and uh, you can also do the recording so let me show you the result let me connect my uh, quadcopter okay it comes and uh, let me see maybe this things are change press this button for If this happens, like see, it's not going. See, now I'm trying go FPV. See, so maybe it's hanged. So if if this app will not support, so what you will do, go to FPV and then click on this green button. And then yes, yeah, see. So now here it's working, but this is a paid version, so this will this app will close. When this screen will come, then you can just go back, and then you can go to Go FPV. And yes, yeah, see. So this is the trick, guys. If the GoFPV app will not support, is not running, is not working, go to that Chinese app and then open the app and then close and then this will come back. Okay, this screen will come back. So let me connect this thing again in this VR box. Okay. And then I will connect here. See, so this is your nice FPV goggles are ready. Have a look. See, yes. See.
guys so this is the view so this is your cheap VR goggles and this see so this is your FPV goggles already in 30 to 35 dollars see the range is very nice it's very good range I check it will definitely support but the you just need one upgrade instead of this normal antenna a stock antenna you can go for the mushroom one which is very good antenna so guys that is my recommendation go for the mushroom antenna which is available in also like you know five dollars so three to five dollars so you can have a look this is my FPV. see Thanks for watching guys, I hope you like.